guys. Hey, ooh, I look like my mama right here now, y'all. Isn't that funny? I feel like the older I get, the more I start to look like my mother and her sisters getting my lights together, girl. So yes, it's time for another chit chat. Chit chat, hey. Chit chat, it's gonna be a bunch of foolery in this video. Just a bunch of random stuff. I jotted down some things I wanted to talk about, but first of all, I wanted to show you guys some products, baby. I know that I'm stressed, and when I'm stressed, I either eat or I spend money, which I've been doing both. But it is what it is. And so I have purchased a bunch of products. I'm gonna show you some things that are gonna be coming up. Some of the stuff you guys um, already know about, but there are some of you who don't follow me on social media, which, which is okay, because I know there are just a few of you who are not on Instagram and stuff like that. So just real quick, not gonna even go into much detail. Um, I, per I bought this a while back. It's the VO5 Detox Conditioner and I purchased the shampoo. You guys probably can't see that. I feel so bad for those of you who don't live in the US and you don't have access to VO5. VO5 is life. VO5, especially the Moisture Milk um, collection, has great slip. Speaking of, I saw this one in Walmart. It is new. Ocean Refresh with sea minerals. I doubt that, but I want it anyway. Um, five plus vitamins and oils. Another thing about some of the VO5 conditioners is that they're cone-free and paraben-free. This is beautiful. I'm not gonna review this. I'm just showing y'all this. This is what I got. I have some products from a local YouTuber that I still need to review. It is by Curl Game. She has three products. This is the leave-in conditioner, and then I have an oil, and then a rice water deep conditioner. So I'm gonna review that. We have mango butter. I'm making a DIY mango butter uh, buttercream, basically. This would not have any coconut in it, coconut oil, and it won't have any shea butter. A lot of the times, the um, DIY recipes I've seen on YouTube, they typically add cocoa butter and shea butter. I'm doing mango butter, that's it, nothing else, okay? Got this last week, Extreme Gel. I will be pairing this with the melanin um, elongating cream you guys for me personally that cream is so light it gives you great definition but it's so light I honestly would prefer that as a leave-in conditioner I really do over a styler um, but I'm gonna pair with this to see how it does with a wash and go <laughs> I know, know y'all just being dramatic um, I have been using this on JB's hair great definition um and so this has aloe vera no residues alcohol free with uv filter so we'll see this is a lot and i got this from walmart online two days ago over the weekend i was at sally's and i saw that they had a bunch of the ors which is original root stimulator products um i've tried a few of their products and i use the revitalizing leave-in conditioner like almost with every wash but they have a shampoo I know you guys can't see that. Let me see if I can show this to you better. It says Moisture Restore Creamy Aloe Shampoo, Aloe Vera Shampoo, okay? And then we have a leave-in um, hair lotion. So I really do have four products that it's gonna be included. So it's basically gonna be a wash tape with ORS, if that makes sense, okay? Um, also at Sally's, I saw their Talia Wajid Curly curly curl cream um i also bought their detangler um and i'm going to be doing bantu knots with those two products okay love love this line actually i really do like this line um and then we have the maui moisture volcanic ash i keep saying ass girl stop volcanic detoxifying scalp care mask for dull and congested hair so for some reason i think my hair is congested and i found the need to buy this my husband, y'all, I'm gonna be using this on my next wash day. Oh, look, oh, look at that. I got this from Walmart. I'm excited about this. And again, this is by Maui Moisture, and I have reviewed some of their products. So, yes, you guys, I know this is a lot of products, and I went through that very fast, but I have on my editorial calendar uh, that some of us content creators have, I have posted 20 hair related videos ideas scheduled i have at least three or four videos just ready to be released girl schedule yes look at that highlight <laughs> i always say that y'all all right y'all so yeah i'm gonna be doing um quite a few videos so y'all know how we do this we talk about what's in these youtube streets um what i've been watching on tv which has been a bunch of foolery lately and some stuff going on at home so girl i've been watching a lot of videos since i was i'm officially back 
Um, when I'm on YouTube, I really don't watch a lot of natural hair YouTubers. I watch beauty, I look at vloggers, um, I look at Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmare. <laughs> I've been watching almost every episode of Fatal Attraction. And for my man, let me tell you something. I think out for like two days, I binge watch for my man. The most thing I'm gonna do for him is make him a, pecan, a pound cake, pecan pie, and uh, do the laundry. I'm not helping you buy no shovels, no tape. I'm not digging no holes. I'm not doing any, it just blows my mind what some of these women do for, for validation of love. I'm like, oh lord, mm -mm. some of the stories y'all was just depressing. So anyway, um, but specifically in YouTube, there has been some drama going on. I'm not going to get into a lot of the details, but there was one particular, I guess she's, I didn't know who she was, blogger, oh, I guess her wife posted some message that, you know, basically encrypted message and it. To me, I read it because Shelly had posted it. Hey girl, I know Shelly looks at my video as Hutchison and made it seem like she had passed away. And this was, I think, was this on April Fool's or the day after April Fool's? It made, it made it seem like she had died. And then the wife came back a couple of, she posted, she's like, I didn't say that she died. I'm just poetic. And so, but it had been a good, what, 24 hours and you had all these other people um, posting um, responses because the thing was that they assumed that she had committed suicide because of online bullying. I don't know, S. Hutchinson had a couple of videos and the wife was like, yeah, nah, and there's some talks about it was a scam, but that is sick. If she, I don't know what happened because I don't know the young, you know, young lady, but if she really did that to scam money out of people, that is really sad. Like, I'm not gonna name drop who she was. If you wanna watch it, go to S. Hutchinson channel. Um, and I know Pam, a viewers of you, she did a reaction to, but yeah, mm -mm, girl. But on to some other stuff. Um, while I was on break, I was watching um, videos from another YouTuber who I'm not gonna name drop. And it just had me thinking about, let me back up. She recently had a BBL a Brazilian butt lift and she has some complications. I'm pretty sure some of you guys have subscribed to her just to give you some hints. She is a vlogger, a family vlogger. Uh, she does keto. Her channel is around uh, weight loss. Her first name begins with the letter K. <laughs> so I know some of you know who that is. Um, and it's been a couple of weeks now, but she had a Brazilian butt lift down in Florida and she has some complications. I think that uh, I, I believe like the day after she had, uh, her heart was racing. She had, you know, increased heartbeat and they had to take her to the emergency, emergency room, excuse me, and she was admitted for two days. Look, y'all, surgery is no joke. The Brazilian butt lift, from what I understand, is one of the most dangerous, um, complicated surgeries and there's so many women out there especially young women out there wanting to get the brazilian butt lift and from what i understand what they do is they take fat either from your thighs your um tummy area and they store it in your your butt and i'm just like and they got me thinking you know what where do we get as a, as a society because i feel like plastic surgery has increased and it used to be and this is not to um this is not to be, you know, uh, offensive to anyone. I hope I don't offend anyone when I say this. It used to be plastic surgery was something that wealthy um, white women would get. Well, now it's something that everybody can get. And because a lot of these plastic surgeons offer, their offices offer payment plans. So girl, as long as you can make $300, $200 a month, you can go get you some new titties, excuse my language, you can get you some new boobs, tummy tuck, whatever you want, and just make monthly payments. And so I'm finding that a lot of women of color, a lot of African American, a lot of Latino women are getting these surgeries and they're getting botched surgeries. It is just sad, like, we really need to start teaching our young women how to love themselves and look, there is nothing worth it. Eddie, you have to love yourself. Look in the mirror and love yourself and be appreciative to what you have. Uh-uh, no ma'am. So anyway, y'all, um, I've been seeing, <laughs> I know Busby did a video on the Way Farmers and, um, is that how you pronounce them? Way Farmer, Way Farmers and um, Discovering Natural. I love that she did a video on Way Farmers versus Curl Farmers. Let me tell you something. Let me, let me get these hoes. They right here. Yeah, I call them hoes. T, thank you T, 
sent me these curl formers. It's been a year. Girl, I told y'all. This, this these things are the sign of the end times. Curl formers. Let me tell you something. That is too much work. In my opinion, curl formers, wave formers are too much work. I feel like that I could get a similar look with perm rods or flexi rods. No, I'm not doing it. And quite honestly, Kevin, I really don't like the way the wave formers look because I feel like it flattens your hair. And Miss Jackson isn't about that flat hair life. I want my hair big. Um, I did like the way that Busby styled her hair afterwards, but overall, I just feel like it's way too much work. Hell, perm rods are a lot of work. I'm not willing to do it. So my curl formers are sitting here. I tried. Cause I, cause I was very appreciative that she sent these to me cause they're expensive y'all. So I tried them, I broke two. I ripped two with that damn needle, whatever they <laughs> So anyway, girl, I have been seeing those and I appreciate the women that do those videos. They're cute, you know, for you, but not for me. It is a no, big no for me. Um, I did see a couple of videos on rice water y'all. Some of these people are out of, you, you know what is really annoying me nowadays are the over exaggerated thumbnails. You don't have to look like that in a thumbnail. It doesn't have to look like that in order for me to watch the video. Like, girl, you... Anyway, but um, rice water. I'm seeing a lot of videos on rice water. I did see African Hair Guy's video on rice water. He did his water jug. And normally when he brings out the water jug, you know, he's about to read, you girl. Um, and then there was another YouTuber. I think it's Curl Miss. I, I shared her channel um, a couple of months ago. Curl Miss. I'll put it down below. She shared her uh, opinion on uh, what rice water. Sorry, you guys. This is my thing. The only reason why I am doing it, those of you who don't know, I started rice water in January. I'm doing it for six months straight. I have been cataloging, documenting, doing lymph checks. I'm going to have a very extensive review because some of these women, I'm sorry, you're not going to see anything in a week. I saw someone that said overnight growth. No. No. Um, there were some things that I agreed with with African Hair God and the other YouTuber, Curl Smiths. But at the end of the day, I'm going to share my results. I'm already, I got two inches in three months. Actually, a little bit more than that. Um, and I can honestly say that I will be back at my length by May. I've noticed that with using rice water, my hair feels thicker. It feels stronger. Um, I am using it every wash, which is every two weeks. And, um, uh, I think there's been one week where I haven't washed, have, where I haven't used it. I've been using organic jasmine rice and I did my own research. I watched the green beauty channel and there's a doctor on here. I can't remember her name. I know y'all know who, who I'm talking about. She has several videos on the benefits of rice water. Look at the end of the day, you have to do what makes you feel comfortable and what you want to do. I don't jump on a bandwagon on everything and this has been out for a while. We've seen these videos out for a while. Um, I'm gonna be very honest in my, you know, if it doesn't grow any more than two inches, it ain't gonna grow. And that's just in it. <laughs> it is what it is. So anyway, y'all, um, I feel like, and my husband and I were talking about this, the death of Nipsey Hussle. I had no idea who he was. And my, my husband was the same way. My husband was like, maybe it's just the young kids. I said, no, it's just not the young kids. Because I know people 40 and over who knew who this man was. Y'all, I'm a type of person, I don't want to say, I don't keep up what's going on in the world. I really don't. Like, I have no idea who some of these singers are. You could show me uh, pictures of who the members of Migos. I, would, I have no idea what they look like. I know it's three of them. I have no idea. I am such an old soul that I don't keep up with any of this stuff. I don't know what Nicki Minaj is doing. You know, sometimes my friends will say, did you hear about it? I said, no, I didn't. Because I don't keep up with, I don't keep up with that vlog stuff and that gossip stuff. I don't keep up with what's, with what's going on with celebrities. I have no idea what the Kardashians are doing. And honestly, I don't care. So, but with this young man, I felt bad that I didn't know who he was and what he had done because he seemed to be a great guy. He have done a lot of things specifically for the black community. So um, that was very, very sad to hear what happened. And uh, we got to get it together, y'all. Now, a part of me who is a the conspiracy theory is kind of like, hmm, I really do believe. I, and I know that the um, people, 
a certain group of people have had folks killed, celebrities killed. I don't, I don't believe in all that sacrificial stuff, but I do believe that folks are being knocked off. I do believe there are agendas to shape the way we think. So, because, yeah, so anyway, moving on. TV shows I've been watching. Girl, besides, I told y'all, um, <laughs> for my man, and um, which I, yeah, no, it ain't for my man. And what is a fatal attraction? I've been binge watching those on YouTube. Killing Eve is back. Love it. I didn't watch this last episode, but I'm gonna catch it on my Sling TV. Um, good Girls is another good one with Christina Hendricks. And um, it has a dark, funny type of humor. I really do like it. And I adore Christina Hendricks. I loved her in Mad Men. Um, she's so sassy in my opinion. But y'all yeah, supposed to be doing my hair. Why didn't y'all tell me? <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing <laughs> This supposed to be a chit chat doing my hair. Lord, I supposed to be applying my pre poo, and I'm just yapping away. We we done wasted ten minutes, girl. So y'all, let me tell you about my hair. Um, oh, it smells good. What is that? Hmm. So I tried using Blue Magic grease to do a twist out. I'm not gonna reveal much, but you see my face, and uh, I have that video in queue coming. I don't know when I'm gonna load this up. I'm gonna try to do it this week. So yeah, I had to put my hair up in a, a updo, but you guys, my hair is growing. And y'all can see that it's growing. Um, I'm retaining length, length. <laughs> and yeah, what we're gonna do is I have my pre-poo here. I'm using the same thing. My pre-poo has not changed much. I have coconut milk and VO5 moisture milk. And here I have olive vera juice, okay? Yeah, that grease, the grease made a wonderful sealant. I'm not going to deny that, but yeah, no, styling my hair, no, no. So anyway, y'all, yeah, speaking of hair, JB has decided that he wants to grow out his hair. Y'all, <laughs> he's so sweet. Can y'all see me? Hold on. It got dark all of a sudden. And he has been saying for every time I cut his hair, because I either cut his hair or have the beautician, the, excuse me, the barber cut his hair. And he always say, don't cut off too much. And he, he's been saying, seriously, he's been saying for about a year, I want my hair longer. So I pulled up some pictures of um, some men with natural hair and he wants his hair longer. I pulled up a picture of a guy, it looks like he had a, um, he had a twist out and the other guy had a wash and go and the hair went down here. So JB wants his hair to hang down. I said, okay, well we're gonna work on um, growing out his hair. I may do a little um, one or two videos about his hair growth too. Cause right now he's at a TWA. <laughs> and so what I have done, he's getting too big for me to wash his hair on the sink. He's getting too tall. So I purchased a inflatable um, wash basin. I can't really wash his hair in the tub because I can't get up underneath. But with the wash basin, it's for washing your hair. It's typically for um, disabled people or elderly people and you will put it in the bed. It's stuck in flavor wash basin. I know um, B-Love, B-Leaf, the guy with the uh, melanin chocolate babies. Oh, they, they have dreads, they are so adorable. Um, B-Leaf Fatherhood, I believe it's a YouTuber. He uses that for his kid's hair. So yeah, you guys, my baby wants to grow out his hair, so we're gonna grow it out, girl. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but all right, y'all, look at this length I'm getting. Do you see that? I'm almost there, y'all. Mind you, my hair was, look at that. It is definitely getting back. So we're gonna go ahead and, y'all, um, I am creating me my own space. I, I need it, y'all. I need to have my own space. So once we're done painting, I'm creating myself a she room and I am so excited to be able to go back there, close the door and lock everyone out. <laughs> Look at that. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see if I, see that's a big section. Let's see if that wooden comb, let me get y'all in so good, come on in. Let's see if that wooden comb can handle this. Do y'all think she could do it? Let's see. Look at that. If you have not tried detangling your hair with a wooden comb, you are missing out. I'm gonna link several videos of me. 
and my hair isn't snagging. This is wood. Let me do this. Look at that. That's awesome, okay? The Felicia Leatherwood is up there too. The Felicia Leatherwood brush. All right, you guys. Um, I've been watching the Green Beauty channel. I love that she did a, I love that she does like series and she really takes her time. In my opinion, I say out of all of the natural hair YouTubers, the Green Beauty channel is up there for me. She is like one of the most informative YouTubers. I know she watched some of my videos and she has actually featured um, one of my videos and I don't, I don't remember which one it is. But anyway, um, she just takes her time and doing the research and I just love the animations that she provides. It's a very professional look to it. Uh, but she can be a little witty, you know, a little bit of humor, which shows she's, you know, that she's, you, we can relate to her basically. Um, I really do enjoy her. I love the fact that she moved to Hawaii um, and grows her own food. I wish she would show a little bit more on that. Yeah, I, I've been saying for years that I'm gonna start growing stuff in the back here. Um, but I, I know they ain't gonna happen, but yes, I love it. Now, I know I was watching, um, someone had commented that, and I'm, I'm gonna disagree with this, someone had commented, it would be great if he shared a little bit more of your personal life. You know what? I do, because that's how my channel has, you know, morphed into. I like the mystery of her. You know, I'm okay with her not going into detail of her life. And there's some people, you guys, they, they don't want to do that. You can be a YouTuber and still be very private. Um, it is possible. Y'all, hold on. My mama tagged me into some, she tagged me in some picture. Yeah, you look, I don't need you tagging me in nothing. Let me see what she did, y'all. Celebrating eight years of friendship. Mama, child, Billie Jean, Billie Jean needs to go to work. <laughs> Well, my mama be, be uh, getting on my nerves, y'all. I refer to her as Billie Jean. That's her first and middle name. Anyway, y'all. But yeah, I think that there's a little bit of, um, I don't mind the mystery of not knowing, you know, any much about the personal, you know, life. Because I, I appreciate the content she provides. So I really don't need to know everything. Um, because I'm like that. You know what I mean? So yeah, I think we need to respect people's privacy. If they want to share something, yeah, but I'm okay with her not sharing, I guess. Um, so yeah, y'all. Okay, so this for this particular mixture, I use a little bit more coconut milk. And I think that was a winner. <clears throat> Y'all. But anyway, y'all, that is it. I'm rambling. This is going to be pretty long. I don't know why I didn't do my hair. Why did y'all tell me to do my hair? I'm just talking up a storm. Uh, but yeah, it was something else I was going to tell y'all, but I don't remember. All right, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care.